During this virtual macaque lesson, we're going to be looking at how to properly blend oil pastels, capturing this beautiful rainbow in the process. Now for this, I am using a small sheet of drawing paper. I've got my oil pastels, a will be sharp black pencil color. It must be sharp to do this. And I've got an eraser and a sketching pencil as well. We are going to start our rainbow by positioning our clouds so we know where our rainbow is going to be going. So what I'm going to start with, down in the bottom left hand corner, down here, I'm going to do a nice fluffy cloud. I don't want to bring my cloud up too far or I'm not going to have space for my rainbow. So here we go. A nice fluffy candy floss looking cloud. There we go, down low. And then I'm going to come to the other side here, to the bottom right hand side, and I'm gonna do another fluffy cloud. There we go. Now all we are doing for our rainbow is the very top edge. So I'm gonna do an arch. I know where it starts here, it's gonna come all the way back down over here. So a nice big arch, it goes right up and over and back down again. Now I'm not drawing any of the stripes. We're going to go straight into color for that. I am going to add a couple of little stars over here though. I think that would look quite pretty. You don't have to do stars if you don't want to. Perhaps you want to do a little love heart or something instead. That would be very cute. Now I'm going to make a start on adding the colors to my rainbow. So I'm gonna make a start with red. Red, we're gonna start high up here. So I'm gonna rotate my work a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do, using my red oil pastel, I'm gonna run up and down that line. I don't want to add very much red. Remember, we are doing a blended rainbow. So we are gonna blend all our colors together so it looks like one color merges into the next color. So just a thin stripe of red all the way over. Our red. Next is gonna be our orange. So I'm starting with my orange pastel on top of my red a little bit. And as I come down, you can see how it blends. You don't see a harsh line where one color starts and the other color finishes. It's a smooth blend from one into the other. And again, just a small amount. We're just doing a nice smooth blend. And you're bringing it down a little bit. So you can see I'm chiseling that oil pastel back and forth. There we go. Right the way down to that cloud again. Beautiful, so red, orange, yellow, yellow next. So same again, start on the orange, up and down. Now having to be a little more aggressive with this one. So blending away there. Red, orange, yellow. This is a great exercise that teaches us how to properly blend oil pastels. They're a tricky medium to use and they do require a lot more elbow grease than other mediums. I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on this material to successfully blend him out. There we go, around to the other side. Any times I pick up a little bit of oil and it creates like a little trail on the surface, I just go back in with my yellow and blend it out a little bit more. There we go, yellow, green next. Where's my light green? So here, now the green isn't gonna blend super well with the yellow unless I use a light pressure. So I'm pressing a little bit softer against the yellow there and then getting a little bit harder as I come away. 
So a soft pressure on the yellow here, just to get it to blend ever so slightly. There we go. And a little bit harder as we come away. We're getting a beautifully blended rainbow. It's all about varying the pressure, allowing the colors to gently blend together. If you're having a hard time getting your green to blend, I'll show you a little bit here. If you have a really harsh line like this here, what you can do is grab your yellow again. Now I was using my yellow to mix the orange. You can see it's got some orange on it. Make sure you clean the end off. So I'm just using a paper towel to clean off the very end. There we go. Then you can use your yellow to help you blend the green. It's easier to blend by adding a light color over a dark color. So green. Next we want our blue. We're going light blue. So again, adding over the top of the green using a light pressure. I'm going to remove some of the paper from this one. That happens to you and you're trying to color and you're getting the edge of the paper. You can always remove it and get an easier side to work with. So I'm pressing hard while I'm just on the white paper and using a much lighter pressure as I am working over the top of the green to get a nice smooth blend, just like I was doing before with the, the green on top of the yellow. There we go. All the way around. Now be honest with yourself. Keep working in one area until you are happy with the blend that you have created. All the way down until we hit that cloud again. Okay, ready for the dark blue now. Here we go. So again, I'm starting in my white area and then using a gentle pressure to combine. Whenever I'm blending a dark color into a light color, I need to soften the pressure. And if I'm having a hard time blending those together using the dark, I'll switch my colors and use the lighter color to help me smooth that blend. Lastly, we're going to do purple on our rainbow or violet. So same again. Nice light pressure to combine those two. This time I want a nice sharp finish to this rainbow. So I'm doing a harsh line at the bottom there and a smooth blend that goes up into my blue. down to my cloud using a nice gentle pressure. What a beautifully blended rainbow we have here. But we have our gorgeous clouds sitting down low. Let's dazzle them as well. So I'm going to start with a little bit of purple down low here. Just at the bottom of my cloud. Very lightly. Do the same on the other side as well. But we can do better than just purple. Let's go in with a little bit of pink as well. Wonderful. Super light and very scruffy too. Because what I'm going to do now is use my white to blend it all together. So I'm going to start down low again. And you can see how by combining the purple and the pink using my light color, I get a lovely smooth almost candy floss looking finish to it. I am putting pressure on this white. 
really blending it out. Now you can see as I drift up away from the color, it fades as I leave the area where I first added the pink and the purple and drift further up away, I get left with a much lighter finish, beautiful fluffy finish. I'm going to take that right up to my rainbow. There is one, gorgeous. Let's do the other one. So I'm using like a circle motion because I'm trying to create that fluffy candy floss look. So I don't mind if I'm leaving a bit of texture behind here. Right the way up to the top of my cloud. Beautiful, so it's light at the top there. Now I'm actually gonna just go along the top of my cloud here. I'm okay with picking up a little bit of these rainbow colors because it kind of looks like it's just reflecting on the top edge of the cloud a bit. So I'm totally okay with that. Wonderful, now we've got our little stars over here as well. So for our stars, what we're gonna do is start with our orange, closest to the rainbow, just on one side. A little bit of orange. Does not take much, we've already figured out how quick and easy it is to blend these colors and it does not take very much at all. In fact, the less dark you use, the better your blend will come out because the light, the yellow here, is gonna pull that quite far. So again, starting on the dark and gently working over to the lighter area on the other side. There we are. Now, I'm not done yet. What I want to do, I'm gonna use a dark pencil to create a nice outside edge around my clouds and my rainbow. I'm not doing any lines down separating the colors because it's all about that smooth blend. Now, I use my black pencil a lot. It is really, really worn down. Now, I can get a pencil extender, but I'm not gonna use it for this. I do have a nice sharp edge, and I'm gonna go back and forth around the outside of my cloud Whenever you're doing an outline using pencil in oil, you have to remember you've piled up a waxy consistency on the surface. So if you're going through your oil, you're gonna have buildup of oil on the end of the pencil. So every now and then, just remove it from the end of your pencil and keep going. So I'm really having to kind of score through the oil here to get that nice dark outline on my cloud. I'm gonna do the same on this cloud over here. Remember, you can rotate your work whichever way you want to make an easier angle to work from. going under just the lower edge and the upper edge of the rainbow. Short sharp strokes back and forth chiseling through that edge of oil. See I keep removing it from the end of my pencil getting a nice crisp clean edge and I'm rotating my work however I need to to get to an easier angle to work from.
we go. Let's just tap off the excess. And there we have it, our beautifully blended rainbow. Now that was a super short and really sweet little activity to get us properly blending oil pastels without having to use any mediums over the top. We didn't even use our fingers to blend, we used just the oil pastels. So remember when you're blending dark colors, start with your dark like we did our red, we put our light color on top and really pulled and blended the two together. But when we're working in reverse, when we already have a light color down and we're trying to blend a dark color into it, we need to take off the pressure and press lighter and lighter. And if you really are having a hard time blending the dark color into the light color, switch up and use the light color. Use the light to blend into the dark. It does sound a little confusing, doesn't it? It's best to just jump on in and have a go and try for yourself. Now, if you enjoyed this lesson on blending rainbow colors, have a go at doing another rainbow-ish image. So something with maybe a unicorn, a unicorn with a rainbow mane and tail. You could blend it exactly the same as how we have done here. That would be beautiful. Or even just try some psychedelic pattern work. We also did a little bit on transitioning colors. You can see down in the cloud, we went from our dark purple to our pink and then used our white to create a smooth blend all the way up to the top of the cloud. So we did cover a couple of relatively simple oil pastel techniques to get you on your way to creating beautiful oil pastel masterpieces. At the very end, I used a short, I used a sharp black, pencil color here. At the very end, I used a sharp black pencil color to capture the very outside edge. Remember you're scoring through oil, so you will need to remove the excess oil from the tip of the pencil so you're not tracking it and dragging it through. That's just given my work a really nice, crisp, professional looking finish to it. So have a go at designing your own rainbow psychedelic oil pastel piece. Remember, whatever you choose to do, have some fun with it.